Hey everybody, welcome to episode number th- 22, I almost 22. said 13 for some reason, 22, the big 2-2 two, two of the oh, Soccer yeah. Effect, Teenage Podcast, that thing, with me and Mike, it's been a while, my friend, but honestly, we have talked a lot though, just not oh, yeah. over, just not on air, we'll call it like, it's on air, you know, so we're like the radio now, oh, we're yeah. that cool, we're radio uh-huh. people. Only instead of sound, instead of waves, it's electricity yeah you know yeah you know what i'm saying you know radio waves electricity you know internet anyways off that so spit you haven't had school for five days basically six actually you want to have school tomorrow no it's been six friday saturday sunday monday tuesday oh wednesday yeah six days oh no i was talking about like school days oh no well i can't I, i included the weekend in there because yeah, I, and then I next know. week we don't have school Friday, or the why don't you following have Friday? I think our school does this every year. They do it right over the over like because you know mon- the next not next Monday but the next Monday because um, yeah. next Monday is the thirteenth, right? Yeah. This upcoming Monday. Yeah, and then the following Monday is the Martin Luther King Day. So our school always does like that Friday before Martin Luther King Day. We always have an in service day. I think because the huh. second quarter ends like that Thursday, maybe always like that's always how it falls, but yeah. like it just always kind of falls that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have a four sense. day weekend next week, and then another four day. We have a four day week, two day week this week, four day week next week, four day weekend, and then a four day week. That's the month of January. Wow. I think, and then there's like yeah. one more week in there, maybe. Let me look. I just had the calendar pulled up, and then I put it away. Um, yeah, then there's, like, one more full week. Yeah, we had, uh, we have three days this week, because, you know, or, yeah, three days this week, because mm-hmm. snow days, and then, uh, next week, we have Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are all finals, or midterms. Is that this so, week? Yeah, or next week. They, was it, um... Was were they supposed to be this week? No. And they moved them, or were they already next week? They're already next week. Okay. Well, that's then, good then. Yeah. And then like our school does it, so we have two finals every day. Uh huh. And uh, like you have one and five the first day, two and six, three and seven, and then four and eight. That kind of actually and, fits good. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then uh, so like, and if you have like lunch, like fifth period, like I do. Uh-huh. You take your first period uh, exam, and then you can just go home. Well, that's so, good. Yeah, it's pretty I, nice. I think, don't you guys always have, like, just a half day for, like, a whole week when you do that? Yeah. Like, See, like... The, the final ends. The mm-hmm. the second final ends at, like, 10.50, I think. Uh-huh. So, How... basically, everyone goes home after that. Okay. Um. How long... Are each finals like the like the the exam period? You would you? Is uh, it just like a regular class period, or is it like? No, no it's so like. It's, yeah, let me let me check. I think it's an hour and a half. I'm not sure though. Uh, schools. Um. Oh, I I it's I'm pretty sure it's an hour and a half. Something like that. Really close to that. Uh-huh. So, that's, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That's like, mm-hmm. see, like, our periods are 72 minutes, so that's already, like, an hour. Yeah. I think that's why they don't really mess with our exam schedules. It's always, like, we just do two exams, then three the next day. Huh. Just like okay. they're all right in a row. Just And they're not even, I don't know, I don't think exams are that hard. Yeah, well, some of them are difficult, but most it of depends, them are. Yeah, it depends what class it is or whatnot. But oh, and then, I don't uh, think exams are. Mm-hmm. For my AP BC Calc te- or f- midterm, we have yeah. uh, we have to come in on Saturday and take it because it's like a full length AP test, so it's like three and a half hours. Uh huh. So, yeah, that's gonna suck. Yeah. What Saturday was that? Uh, Did you find out this upcoming Saturday, the eleventh. Yeah, this the eleventh. Okay. Yeah, that's why I gotcha. was worried I couldn't come to your house the 18th, 
So I didn't know that if that suck was if you didn't. Yeah. Cuz that's going to be a fun one cuz we're it's at my house. Yeah. And stuff. So, be ready for that. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, we should talk about that right now while I'm thinking about it. We got to figure out what games we're going to play and we should you know what we should do. We should set cool. up um I'll talk to my talk to my dad cuz with getting down the wire, I'll see who's coming and we can make teams and stuff. All right. All right. Because cool. I think, honestly, it went so smoothly last time. Like, usually it doesn't go that smooth because, you know, it was all like... Uh-huh. Teams were pre-made and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, is it going to be like 12 people again or are there um, going to be more? I, there might. There's probably going to be at least 12, I'd say, and maybe more. I don't know. I have to talk to my dad about it. I haven't talked to my dad about it. I don't even know if he knows that we're having it on the 18th. What? He probably I does. Think, I, I think he, he knows. Forgets. Yeah. I think, so. Yeah, we talked about it right before I left. So. All right. So, yeah, I, I just got to bring it up. To, I might bring him up to it today or tomorrow. I don't know. I, I'll bring it up to him eventually. Because I, I think what we're going to do is we'll just do what we did last time with the tables, I'm assuming. Okay. And just put them down the middle oh, yeah. of where, yeah. of behind the couch, you know? Mm -hmm. Because that's where the most room is. Because I don't know where else we'd do it. Honestly, he might want to do it in the theater room, maybe. I doubt it, though. I don't think that room's big enough. You don't think it is? No. Um, I don't know. I gotta talk to him about it and see what he says. Actually, we have to move all tables and stuff, yeah. Because we have to get all that stuff down here and set up before it's that Saturday. Because I'm not going to be here that Saturday morning. Uh, If you guys need tables, I can bring a table or two. All right, yeah, I'll definitely talk to him then and see what's up. I got good, nice, big, you know, those, the hefty like the plastic, plastic ones. Yeah, the hefty plastic ones. Yeah. So, like, my parents they didn't get the hefty tables before the, they got them before the plastic air, so they got the hefty wood ones. No. They weigh 20 <laughs> billion pounds. Or the the shitty card table ones. Oh, God. That was so, that was shady. You know, my setup at your house. Yeah. Card table like waddle, like wobble left and right and back and forth and. <laughs> it's a card table. What do you expect? I mean, I'm playing on a card table. Mine doesn't wobble. Well, that thing's like 20 years old, Mike. Come on. I, I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and then you had to have like a, a cloth so that the leg didn't give out. Oh my god. Hey, it's an old table, man. I know. I'm just saying. It's it's sharp. It's still it's still sitting over there. It's a sharp table. <laughs> you know, you got to give it some credit for that. I mean, we could have brought in, like, a big desk, but I don't think there would, there would have been enough room over there for, like, a, um, for, like, a chair or something. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I mean, it worked. It did. It was, honestly, I think it it worked out quite nicely. Yeah. So, that was, it was good. It was a solid, it was a solid, like, think on your feet kind of setup thing. Uh-huh. Oh man, that's gonna be so, pretty fun though. Eighteen. It it will be. They're all. They're honestly. Laugh. I feel like this year has been more fun than years past. Yeah. I don't know why. Last year was good. It, I think we should I probably like, tell them what we're talking about though. To people that are listening. So everyone knows what land parties are though. It's a, it's a, it's a big. It's like a land party except the thing is you play older games instead of newer games because older games are more fun. And better set up for land. Yeah, they're more oriented for land things, because that's what you did back in the day, you know? Yeah, there wasn't <laughs> multiplayer. Online yeah. multiplayer. Or th there was, but it was just really bad. And not everyone had the internet, so, I mean, like, most games nowadays don't even support land. Yeah, they don't have, like, a land feature. Yeah, I don't even think, does, I don't think Call of Duty has it anymore. Um, they might. I don't know. Rising Storm does actually. I saw that when I I was playing that before you were on here, and they they have a land feature. Wow, that's Isn't a fun game. Yeah, I mean it. It doesn't really seem like that game would be good with like twelve people. It wouldn't be. You have to have you have to have a lot of people. I don't know. It's like a game. Honestly, I don't know if I was talking to you about it, but like it's honestly like very realistic in the fact that sometimes when it comes to overwhelming one of the bases you have to have your whole team rush the base at once otherwise like they just like fend it off which is like it's like strategy based except you know 
You know what I noticed about that game? What? The reason I don't like it is because I always get hit markers in that game. Really? And I never get hit markers on me. Bullcrap. Like yeah, I always get killed when I um when I get killed, it's always the bleeding out feature, you know? Yeah. I always bleed out. It seems like but Honestly, I've been I've been on the jap side a lot with the bolt action, and I've been getting. You just have to aim high. Yeah, like I guess so. anything above the chest, like the upper chest, is gonna be a one hit kill. Like your best friend's the head. You can't in that game. It's realistic in the way that no matter where you hit them, they're gonna enter like a bleeding out stage or something if you hit them. But then they can like patch up the bleeding out thing if it's like below a certain point, you know. Yeah. And then of course when they you hit them, they're like impaired and they're all jacked up and everything. So. But I can see where the hit markers can be a problem. Yeah. I, know, you just, I think you just get used to the feel, because I honestly think I've been doing fairly good at the game lately um, compared to compared to normal. I feel like I've been doing a lot better at it. So, I don't know. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's something you have to get a feel for, because it's, like, it's not very fast. Like, the mechanics of it aren't fast moving. Yeah. They're more kind of, I don't know if you want to say sluggish, but I'd, it just plays a different way. Yeah, it's just a different feel than mm-hmm. what I'm used to. Cause you're like, you like when you think of like a kind of a first person shooter game for the computer, you think more Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield. And Call the Duty way S- that feels. Games. Yeah. Yeah, and you think more the way those feel, and those are like fast and smooth. See, this one's kind of more slower and more sluggish. Yeah. But it's still fun. It's just See, it's honestly more strategy based than a lot of other games. I think. Yeah. Speaking of slow games. I finally beat that Civ game. Did I you won know? It. Yeah, thirty-three hours. Man, that was pretty tough. At the end of the game, I got like, I got like ten nukes, and I just nuked the hell out of uh, Egypt. Like I didn't even want to deal with them. I just obliterated them. It was like my army was on one side of the continent. And then Egypt was on the other side of the continent. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't really want to go deal with them. So I just nuked them and left one city and took that city. So Uh-huh. Yeah. And that's it. There you go. So what you got to do, you know, just, just nuke them. Yeah. And I was really hoping that none of them had nukes. Because at one point, my whole army was surrounding a Japanese city. Uh-huh. So if, like, Japan had a nuke and they just nuked themselves, I would all die. I don't know if they'd nuke themselves. I don't think the computer's that dumb. Nope. They're smart. Well, they're, they're the Japanese. Dumb and smart. They, they do yeah. that, the suicide thing. That seems so bad to say, but history kind of <laughs> backs up that statement, which is kind of bad, but it's true. They'd rather die with honor or kill themselves with honor than die with... Die. Dishonor. I don't, I don't know. Really yeah. call it. It, I don't even yeah, know what sure. they call it. It's like, I, I feel like... I feel like it's it's worth it. Then more to surrender just keep, with yeah, dishonor. Yeah, keep going. Then uh, just kind of kill yourself. But you know, I don't. I'm not gonna say anything at all. You know, just not. Um, Teach their own, right? Yeah, there you go. Just keep it, keep it to a minimum. Why? Oh, it's this month. <laughs> oh man, back in so all those war movies, man, the good old days. Yeah. Cla- <laughs> Oh man, my um, I got uh honestly, the the what the I'll look at that thing. The uh the Pacific and Bannon Brothers look so good and on Blu-ray and like in actual HD. <laughs> yeah, it looks so good and it sounds really good too. Cause we had the bootleg copies of it before, you know. Oh, so they yeah. were like, I tried to watch them and they were they just it just wasn't. It was just icky looking. Yeah, sometimes so you I get didn't. a bad copy. Sometimes you get really good ones, though. Uh-huh, I just true, too. So, I just bought it, and yep, those are cool. I like movies, what can I say? Yeah, I'm not really much of a movie guy. I just, I don't know. I'd rather Every, play everyone's... video games and watch uh-huh. movies. I, I, I find the balance kind of, like, I like video games. One thing I think I've realized is, like, I guess I've really never, like, I'd say you above anybody, like, you're, like, more of an all-around gamer, you know what I mean? Like, you're actually a gamer, 
you know, you could say, because you play a whole bunch of different kinds of games, and you don't like, I don't want, I guess I'm going to use the word stereotypical towards games, you know? Yeah. You're not stereotypical towards games as so as so much as I am or whatever, but I'm still, like, I'm not, I don't consider myself really a gamer gamer like you, but I still play a variety of games, and like, I'm still, I'm still down. Yeah, you know, you can you can hop in a game and not be total crap at it, like yeah. no matter what it is. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like I can I can fend my own no matter what game it is, and I could play any game and like find some kind of interest in it. It's yeah. just like. Uh huh. I don't know. Like I'd play Borderlands if I wanted to, and I wouldn't. But, yeah. I'd beat it, but. I don't know. Yeah. It's I'm just like, not. I'm just not as hard as I would guess I was into it. I was more like into that whole FPS thing because I was really good at it. Like I got yeah. good at it. I wouldn't say I was just good at it. I got good at it. Back in uh, first grade, kindergarten, uh, Medal of Honor, Frontline. Yep. That's where it all started, man. First person shooters from like the early 2000s. Oh, man. That game was that... so good. Mm-hmm. That We still have that game. I know. I saw it on the TV. That like, oh man, <laughs> the one guy, the Civ guy, f- who reads the narration sounds just like the narrator from that game. <laughs> yeah, sounds just like him. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I miss those. Th- those like I don't. I really wish they had. Honestly, I really wish they would do a another good World War Two campaign based game. Could you yeah. like if they did like a Rising Storm campaign? That'd be so much fun. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like people just ma- they- they'd make it more complicated than it is. Yeah. yeah. Those are like, I don't know, I feel like that's like a simple thing, but they just won't do it because people are just... Yeah, I know what you, you mean. Know. It just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was it was kind of done to death in the early, mid-2000s. Yeah. And then COD but, 4 mean, came out, and people mm-hmm. realized, hey, Modern Warfare, we can really deal with, we can really go big with this, so... Uh huh. I feel like though, in a way, Modern Warfare has kind of already kind of worn itself out. Yeah. Now they're going to Future Warfare. Yeah, and Future Warfare is just like sketchy for me. Like I, 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 I don't, ha- I don't hate on it, but I think it's like I don't think we should be getting to predicting the future. It just makes things look stupid. Yeah. Kind of, you know, like some of the things they 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 come up with. Yeah. And how they implement them, it's just kind of it's just silly. I think. Yeah, I know. But I'm but, still I I still am down for it. I don't Yeah. Yeah. Like some of the things that they put in games that are like not even that far in the future. Just like what that Yeah. No. Like uh-huh. really? Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I I can't think of one right now, but I don't know. It's just some like, of the things. Let's think what what did they put in Black Ops two that was sketchy? I didn't even play the new Call of Duty, so I couldn't tell you what they put in there that was that yeah, was no, that was cool. No, did I. That was uh, this first year none of us have bought in Well you didn't buy Black Ops two, I don't think. I didn't buy it on release. Oh, you still bought it though, okay. Yeah. So I this was the first year no one bought no one bought Call of Duty. Like yep. everyone just was like, Fuck Call of Duty this year. Yeah, so no. Well, Call of Duty has always been like a us game, not really, mm-hmm. not really like by myself. And since not all of us bought it, we didn't really play it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then like last year, I guess some of us bought. We, we all ended up buying it, but then we just didn't, we honestly just didn't have any fun with it. Like I, I just didn't even think it was that great of a game. It was I mean, yeah. I think for me, I feel honestly it was the connection. I don't know if it's because I always did the wireless thing, but for me, the connection killed it. It just. Yeah, that was my problem. So that's why I couldn't like get really. I don't know if it, if you could say getting into it had to do with that, but I just never got into the game. So I never. Yeah, there's just nothing there. It was like a dead. It was a dead thing. So yeah, then I it was just, like, all right, Battlefield. Yeah, I just I just felt like it was, I don't know, it was just slow, clunky. Yeah, it was slow. Like I couldn't have fun with the weapons. Yeah. Like, it was, I I do admit it was kind of clunky and slow. I like the I like the things they changed about it though when it came to like class progression and stuff. They made good good things there when it came to like the prestiging stuff. But yeah, it was kind of slower and clunky. Yeah. It was more. It was made. I we're gonna. I'm gonna say it. It was made more for 
esports and competitive gaming than it was yes, uh, yeah. fun. Like, I feel like the last I haven't played the new one, but I mean like the best the Call of Duty I had the most fun was was Modern Warfare Three. Yeah. And the longevity of that game would have been better if they didn't mess up the whole uh dead silence set rep thing. Yeah. So I mean that game was just fun. Like us together. Yeah. I mean like I don't know if it was just like the guns or the things you could do about it, but something it just like that game found a way for you could you could use you could find a way to use any gun on any map. Like it didn't matter I if did. you're using a shotgun on like the biggest map in the game, you could do it. You could in KSG all the way. Mm-hmm. I remember that, like all the everyone got golden guns and golden SMGs and everything was golden in that game. It was so much fun. Yeah. I wish honestly, I wish Call of Duty had more longevity to where you could say the support aspect of it was there. Um yeah. after a year after the game. Like I would love to go back and play World at War, even Call of Duty Four, um, Modern Warfare Three, you know? And yeah. still enjoy playing them like we did a couple months. Um, yeah, like, like I, I, I lost my train after, of thought there. After it was like released. Yeah, like uh, five months in when we were like yeah, at yeah, the like peak the of like skill or whatever, we we learned it and we were actually doing stuff with it. I wish yeah. that kind of longevity was there with Call of Duty. Yeah, like with first, like with most first person shooters, it's not there. Like with most, with all games, honestly, after the sequel comes out, when it comes to the multiplayer realm of the game, it just it just dies off for some reason. Yeah, and not it's not because like I don't think it's because the players aren't interested, but after they the support team moves on to the next game, and there's zero look back or support for the previous game. Yeah, you know what I mean. And uh-huh. by terms of support, it's just making sure people don't abuse Act the bugs. It. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like those things can't be hard to stop because you stopped them for so long anyway. So, I, don't know, I just wish they had more longevity. Mm-hmm. I feel like that when it comes to like game franchises and stuff, like that's one thing that kills it is the longevity factor. Yeah. A lot of people look for like longevity in games, and that's why certain certain game franchises are more successful than others because the games have longevity, either in like a storyline or just in. The way of way of playing them. Yeah, but some of it's also like the player base. Like I don't know. It's it fades. Like gamers are like they're less interested now than they were before. So like mm-hmm. on uh, let's see what is it? It's let's think of an older game. I have Call a good Duty example 4. for this. Okay. They they had the same fifteen or so maps for three years, and everyone loved them. And they were good, and nobody was complaining, hey, I want more maps. But now, games have uh, DLC after, like, a month and a half or two. Because people get bored with the maps. Like, people honestly start complaining, like, mm-hmm. uh, these maps are getting boring, we should get some new ones. They're not. It's not just, like, the companies are shoving DLC in your face, people are asking for it, so. Yeah, like, you think back to, yeah, like you said, Call of Duty 4, there wasn't much... There was no DLC in that game. I think game. there was one DLC. Yeah, there was one DLC, but there wasn't like, you know what I mean? There wasn't like yeah. every other month DLC. So, mm-hmm. and it's also like um I think in terms of DLC terms, people demand DLC because honestly, if you think about it, the original maps and games aren't that good anymore. Like yeah. you don't honestly, I think Modern Warfare 3 of all the Call of Duties lately besides Call of Duty 4 had some of the best original maps. And Modern Warfare 2 had good maps. Original maps. Yeah, that's Black good Ops ones. had some decent ones, and so did Modern Warfare Two. Modern Warfare Three had good, had good core maps, and so did Call of Duty Four, which added to the longevity over that year. Because I didn't buy any of the DLC from Modern Warfare Three. I don't think any of us did. For Modern Warfare Three? Yeah. I think I got it. I, cause I know I didn't. You uh, might have yeah, had I, the season I, pass. I, I had it. Yeah. Because I, I know I didn't. I don't think Corey did either. Because like the the core maps in that game, were. They were fine, like, yeah. They didn't really get that. They didn't get that old. You just favored certain maps. Yeah. I I actually like the new ones, but we never got to play them, so I didn't really get to. Mhm. No. Yeah, because no one else had it. It's I not think, even I don't think I played all of them either. Like I know I played all Probably of them from the first three DLCs, and I think the last one I only played like one of them with my cousins. <laughs> Uh, 
what a waste of sixty dollars. I know. I've spent so much money on Black Ops Two. I bought this the hard edition to end the season pass. And then the reason why I bought the hardened edition, they gave it away in the season pass. Wait, did you, uh, you actually had the season pass for Black Ops 2? Mm-hmm. So you, you can download all the zombies maps? Yeah. Oh, okay. I probably should, eventually. You know, I think this whole DLC, every, like, really often, I think it came from zombies. Oh, yeah, definitely, because World at War, World at War, like, it wasn't that... People wanted it... more zombies maps. It was uh-huh. they released more zombies maps, and along with that, they gave multiplayer maps. Yeah, I think that's like where yeah, it all zombies came from. was the cr- yeah. Because honestly, the thing, the only reason why there was like the only reason con- kind of when you think about World at War, the reason why there was DLC is because people found the zombies thing, and they said we want we like this, we want more of this. So then they yeah. said, okay, this has potential. Let's let's go somewhere and see what we can do. And when they were doing that, they also released zombies. Yeah. Multiplayer maps. Multiplayer maps. So, yeah, they said, let's not only just do this, let's tack on four of this as well. And that's kind of how the DLC thing goes. Like, if you think about it in terms of original DLC, World at War, out of all the Fallen Call of Duties, had the best original DLC. Like, even Modern Warfare 2 copy and pasted maps from the first, call, first, first Modern Warfare game. Yeah. That's not original DLC. You have to mm-hmm. create a brand new map with feel, experience, and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. And it's, I don't know if you could say it's hard to do, but if it was, a, it kind of, you could say it was hard to do, because otherwise they'd have more better DLC maps, but yeah, I feel like some of it's kind of with the rush, like the demand for maps, so they really don't put as much time into it as the original ones. Yeah, or they like can't, they just. I mean, yeah. I don't even remember the DLC maps for World at War. I I remember. I I don't think I ever got them. Really? I remember them because we had zombies, and then I remember because, like, my favorite maps in that game were DLC maps. I think I got Ascension, and that was, or not Ascension, what was it called? You definitely Uh, had. Dereese. I had Dereese. Yeah, I think everyone definitely had Dereese. I know I got all of them. I had, I think I had Doris and Shinonuma. You might have Shino, yeah, you might have had Shinonuma. Man, those are some great times. Me, you, Corey, and, uh, is it Corey? What's that other like kid's Cor- name? Cody. Cody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, good times. Back when we played with, like, his cousin and, um, fuck, who else did we play with? JJ. Yeah, I think we played more with JJ back in those days, too. Because that was honestly when you thought about it, World at War, that was like the main thing in that game was was the zombies thing. Like, I think, like I thought in Black Ops 2 that killed it for me in terms of Call of Duty 2 is they did too much to zombies. They, yeah, you know, Black Ops zombies were fun. We had a lot of fun with that and there was longevity there, you know? Uh-huh. But they, like, they didn't, I don't feel they did too much in Black Ops 1. With Moon, they did just enough. They didn't overdo it. They did just enough. Did you ever you know what I mean? do the DLC for Moon or the the Easter eggs? Um, we've tried. I don't think we ever got it all the way. I think I got all the way. I think I got to the last step. I think that uh-huh. was it. With I know some, we've tried to do it before. I think I got to the last step with my friends from school, uh-huh. and as we were like completing the last step, we all died. Uh huh. So. I remember we did we did um Shangri La. Oh, together God. that one was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> we can all kill ourselves later for that one. I remember we did that one. Uh, we all did the, the one before that, and then after Shangri La was Moon, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. What was the one before Shangri La? Um, I think it was. When was it? Was a when was Ascension? Was that the first one? That was the first I think Ascension one. was the first one. So the one before Shangalon was the snow one. I forget what it was called. Oh, Call the of the Dead. The one with Romero. Call of the Dead. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually like top 800 people for really? Call of the Dead for a while. Mm-hmm. Call of the Dead was fun. All the zombies maps in that game were fun. If there was one, I would pick on it to Ascension just because it was so confined. Yeah. 
it was still fun because you, there were still places where you could do the circle thing. PhD it was just a confined circles. Um, yeah, it was just a confined. It was just kind of more of a confined map, and you know what I mean. And then yeah. the next map opened it up more, and Shangri La kind of had an open feel with a lot of, uh, what was the word I used? Confinedness at the same time. Yeah. And then Moon was both of them too. You know what I mean? Yeah. They they like they they steadily built in that game and they, they, all the maps were great. Uh-huh. And then like with the fifth DLC when they did Moon, they released all the other zombies maps from oh. World of Wasn't War. The, that was like that was the first or second one, I think. No, they did that with the last one. So I remember the, cause they, I don't think they had DLC maps with the last one. I don't think Maybe they did have DLC maps. I, with it too. I'm pretty sure that was way before Moon. I'm pretty sure it was the last one because I remember me and Corey were like, we, we've had that already. And it was like a decent amount of time we said we've had it. I don't think it was Moon though. No, maybe it was, it was before that. I'm not sure. It might have been Call of the Dead. Oh, well. Nah, all I know is they did it sometime and I don't think they had DLC maps with it. It yeah. was just that. So. But that was, that was a cool thing they did. Yeah. I remember on okay. Shangri La, I think it was like. The first day I got it, I like went into like a random game with these people, and we were gonna we were trying to do the Easter egg, uh huh. And we had to do the, the napalm zombie walk through the tunnel. That thing is fucking. That was the, that was the hardest part. So hard. That was the uh, hardest part of the whole thing. And uh, we kept on screwing it up. Uh -huh. I think we got all the way to like round thirty-two, to, and then uh, we screwed it up again. So we're just like, you know what, guys? Fuck it. I'm going to bed. See you guys later. And then I'm like, yeah, let's just kill ourselves. Mm hmm We didn't even, like, die. We just quit because, I don't know, it was bad. Like, I think that was the first time that I've gotten, like, really far in a zombies game. And, I've like, we've been doing so well that we just quit. I know, right? I feel like that's what we did a lot in, like, all of them. Like, it got to the point where it was, like, 2 or 3 in the morning and we just, we're still going. We're just like, all right, it's bedtime. Each round is just, taking an hour and a half. Let's just, let's just go. Mm hmm. Just and just ended it. Cause that's how it was in like World of War with like Doris. Like you'd be fine. You could keep going. Yeah. I miss. I don't think. I think one thing too with Black Ops too, from what I remember, is on those maps, at least the ones I played, there wasn't much like strategy. Like there wasn't many places where you could like run a circle or, like. Yeah. Or run like a safe circle. I call it. you could you could run a circle, but it wasn't like uh, Black Ops or World of War safe circle where you had escape routes or you could maneuver around getting like cornered yeah and still the fact that they just did too much oh wait oh never mind kino kino was the original map right for Black kino Ops. yes that was the original map okay Man, good times oh boy all right reminiscing our call of duty days i know i feel like Call of Duty is Call of Duty is us. Like if you think about us, our roots, Call of Duty. Yeah. Well, our, our, um, our FPS our, like, roots, actual root, or I don't know. Uh, our social gaming. root. Yeah, yeah competitive social, social root. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think our yeah, FPS that's what Call of Duty did. Were Medal of Honor. Yeah, Medal of Honor, Battlefront. There's oh, a new Battlefront, Battlefront game coming out this year. Sometime. That'll be awesome. Can't wait for the new Battlefront game. Hopefully it doesn't suck. I don't do Dice is doing it. It's gonna be it's gonna be like Battlefield except with Star Wars and Hopefully A EA doesn't fuck it up. Probably yeah, probably like a third person thing, hopefully. And then you're gonna have space battles and stuff. It's gonna be like Battlefield except space to Earth. I think with Star Wars. Yeah, I think it's uh this one they're doing you can go from space straight down to the planet. Mm-hmm. At least that's what I saw. Yeah, I mean, and if you think about it too, that makes sense builds. that they would do something like that because you're going to have 64 player servers for sure. Not only because of PC, but because of next gen. And when you have 32 people on a team, you can have, like, what I could see them doing is maybe, I don't know how you'd implement this, but you'd have like a limit to how many people could be in space or on the, pl or on the ground at one time. So it was like set. So you have 64 people yeah. overall, 32 on each team. 16 can be on in space at a time and 16 can be on the ground for one team. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't, you have to have at least, you can't have more than those two numbers on one or more places, you know, mm -hmm. or maybe one map's more space oriented or land oriented. Yeah. 
Or, like, you split the objectives up somehow. You know, half the objectives are in space, half of them are on the ground. Yeah. Because otherwise you're going to have the thing where... um, Otherwise you're going to have the thing where then it just becomes, like, you're the only guy on the ground doing something, or, you know what I mean? Or people are just going to be douching around instead of playing the game and trying to complete or do the objectives. Yeah. Oh, boy. Man, that game... It'll be so much fun. Hopefully, I know. I think it will be. Like, I don't think I don't think you could be disappointed with Battlefield. Battlefield Four is fun. I wish oh, they had more thirty-two oh, wait, man rush servers. Yeah, I wish they had more thirty-two man rush servers. I wish the game was more rush they, oriented. Yeah, more rush servers because, in general. Yeah, I love. Honestly, for me, and I'm gonna explain this. I like Battlefield because of rush. Because I like conquest and vehicles, but I can't do that by myself. Because I feel like I'm the only one trying to at- destroy the vehicles for some reason. Yeah. And then with Rush, I have more Call of Duty competitive routes, like we were saying before. So Rush is more that feel oriented. Uh huh. And you can I still know how to play with vehicles and you and play that way too. So it's a it's a good mix. But in that game per se, the Rush maps are really small, and you on the computer you really only have 64 servers. So it's stupid. Yeah. It can be fun, but it's chaos because for some reason they literally made the rush maps really small. Yeah, that was which, that was kind of stupid of them. Which was dumb because Battlefield Three rush maps were decently sized, and Battle Bad Company Two match were recently sized. Well, recently Battle, sized. Bad Company Two we played on uh, console. So. Console. It was meant for console though. Yeah. Like if I think if true. I look back at that game now, I really wish I would have played it more, and I wish it had more longevity on the console. Because it felt so good on the console. Like, after you play Battlefield 3 and you go back to that one, you think, wow, this game was meant for this system. Yeah. Because of the, it was smooth. I wish that game had more longevity because Vietnam in that game was a lot of fun. Um, And that game overall, honestly, was just a lot of fun, multiplayer-wise. Uh-huh. But the longevity just wasn't there with it. Like, you can still play it now and get in new games, but... It's not as fun, and you really can't play Vietnam anymore. Yeah. It's even harder to find Vietnam servers. It's impossible. So. Oh, man. Uh, I'm trying. I have, I have my games list looked up, so I'm looking. At, I'm trying to. I'm thinking about longevity things here. Things that have been in and out, kind of. You know. I don't really have longevity-based games on my computer. I've never really played the Batman games. League of Legends for me, man. Mm-hmm. People still want me to play that. People at work, David and Alex, want me to play that. I'm, I'll play David it. David plays it. Yeah, David and Alex. Yeah, I um, wonder how many hours I put into League of Legends. I don't know. Probably a decent amount because that game's one of those games where you have to learn and then progress in. Probably about five hundred. So it's more hour oriented. I look back at like how many days I played in Modern Warfare Two and Modern Warfare Three. I played Call of Duty so much. <laughs> it's like, I, but when you think about it, though, you think about how long I played, and you think about like, especially Modern Warfare Three, I got under 10k search rank, and that's after uh, yeah. playing search only for like half the game's life cycle. So, it's not that bad. Like, I can, I can live with it. Oh man, I totally forgot that you were like that high. Mm-hmm. I got under 10k, dude. I was shooting for under 1,000, but then the game died off, and they've messed up sit rep, so you just it just lost its its juice. Lost all of its juice, man. Mm-hmm. I love Search in that game. Just... That game made me love Search more than like I did in the past. And then I remember, yeah. I don't know if I ever talked to you about that, but did you, but did you hear that they never had Search originally in Ghosts, and then the people got like, they were pissed. Like, Wait, that really? was worse than Infinity Ward doing, yeah, they got they didn't have it on release. Oh my and God. They, people got more mad than they did when they did the sit rep thing, and they got they got pissed wow. about it. Yeah, dude, that I know. It's crazy. So yeah, why would they do that? I don't know. I it's like um it's like you wasn't think about like, this one. Do, go ahead. Like, wasn't it the most played game mode besides Team Deathmatch? Yeah, it was like it's up there with them. Domination and yeah, Team Deathmatch, Domination, Free for All, and Search and Destroy. Those are like your four main. Game modes, I would say. 
and they didn't have oh. it. They had the search and rescue thing. They didn't even have it in the game. And that was like the stupidest yeah. thing because one, Infinity Ward is known for having good search and destroy, and two, people love that game mode. Why would you get rid of it? <laughs> like that's just Infinity Ward being stupid. Like they do that all, every year. Every year they make a game, they do something incredibly stupid. I mean, I knew they were it's dumb. Like, it's like it's what they do. I didn't know they're that dumb. Mm-hmm. It's like um, it's like in World at War. Do you remember War? That game mode. Yeah. At all. Yeah, I remember that, that game, game mode was a lot of fun. And everyone loved that game mode. And like, if there was one game that they wish they would have added to all the other Call of Duties after that, it was War. Because I remember when Modern Warfare. I don't remember if it was Modern Warfare Two or Modern Black Warfare Ops. Two. Black Ops yeah. 1, but they had polls on the websites, and they were like, what game mode from this game do you want us to bring back? And people voted War like 75% to like 10 for like the other game modes. Mm-hmm. And they never they brought didn't it bring back. back. They never brought it back. They didn't even mention it. Like they were, I think there were rumors about it maybe coming back in DLC, but that never happened. Huh. Wow. Yeah, uh, Oh, well, I remember Call of Duty 3 was the first Call of Duty I got for my Xbox. Mm-hmm. That's what my dad got me for Christmas. And uh, War was in that game, and that was like the only game mode I played. Mm-hmm. Pretty fun. And then uh, then I got COD 4, and I never went back to mm-hmm. Call of Duty 3. I, wonder if, I don't COD even think 4. I still I have never... it. Did I put that? I have it. I think I, I might have actually lent that to my friend. Like ten years. I never ago. played. I never played Call of Duty Four during its original life cycle. I don't think I never had an Xbox during Call of Duty Four's original life cycle. I think like did. we came. No, I had it. No, I had it when World of War came out. Yeah, but I I think Call of Duty Four was like was the still, only was still Call of Duty considered... game that was like. It was still yeah, it was really still, relevant when it was even relevant when up to Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, yeah, it was relevant up to Modern Warfare 2. I will admit to that. And I never got it and played it. Yeah. That was a fun game. Mm hmm. I wonder what prestige I was. I don't remember. I, I think I was think like I six or something. I don't think I prestige. No, I did one of those 10th prestige lobbies in that game. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember yeah. that. They did that Modern Warfare 2, too. Yeah. And then in uh, Modern Warfare 3, I did everything legit. Did you ever get to 15th? 10th? In what? 20th? Modern Warfare 3? No, I never prestiged in that game. I think I oh, yeah, once. that's what it was. Because in that game, you didn't have to prestige to get created classes. That was the only reason why I ever prestiged in any game was because of the created class thing. Oh, yeah. And in Modern Warfare 3, you used like, those tokens or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you never had to prestige. And I think it worked the same way in Black Ops 2. Like, you didn't have to prestige to get all your classes. Yeah. Didn't, in uh, Modern Warfare 3, didn't didn't you get one thing from prestiging that you actually needed? Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, wasn't it like... You get you, you got like a token. You got the tokens, I think. You got a prestige token. I forget what it was for. Yeah. Though. And then, for prestiging. And then if you prestige in every other Call of Duty game, you got a free one. So, like, for us, we prestiged in... Call of Duty 2, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops. So that's four prestige tokens, plus the prestige oh, token for prestige yeah. once in Modern Warfare 3. Boom, that's there's five more created classes. Forgot about that. That's how it worked. You just had to prestige in the other games. Okay. Now I remember. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did prestige twice, because I didn't prestige in World at War. That's what it was. Mm-hmm, that might have been it. Because... Uh. Because in that game, there was no reason to prestige because you just got a token, and most of the tokens, I think there were some maybe for camos or something, maybe, but most of it was like, create a class, reset your stats, and stuff like that. Yeah. I think, they I that's something they definitely did right when it came to like, that's what I like about Black Ops 2, they made it to where when you prestiged, you kept your class progression, or your weapon progression, you know? Yeah. Like, once you unlocked everything for one gun, you don't have to re-unlock everything again. COD points uh-huh. was fun when they did that. It was a good idea. Yeah. Wait, what was COD points again? Um, Black Ops. I'll explain. It was Black Ops. Okay, so you, you played the game, right? Yeah. 
just a game, and you got. Oh yeah, you bought. Like, you I don't bought know. Yourself. I don't know how they determine the amount of points you got, but you'd yeah, you get a set yourself. amount of points, and then each weapon attachment emblem thing costs a certain amount of points, so you'd yeah. buy it I after remember, you would unlock yeah. unlock the weapon. So like okay. you didn't have to like get seventy five kills to unlock set attachment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did they? I think they did that. They did that in um. That was something that they did in Modern Warfare 3 that was kind of sketchy, where they went back to, like, get this many kills like this to unlock this attachment. Yeah. Like, there were certain shots. attachments you unlocked, but then you had to progress to get um, something else. Because I know camo is the, the weapon level thing. Oh, the weapon Because people, yeah. ha- okay. people hated the headshot shots. things for camos. After they, after they got rid of the whole headshots for camos in Black Ops, they never went back to it. People hated that. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Or Call of Duty Four had uh, quite a few red tigers. That was well, you tough. were just good. Man, good times. <laughs> I I think I always played headquarters, hardcore headquarters in that game. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. I towards the end of I remember that's how I got all my golden shotguns. Like after I got like my base ones, which was like two, I played hardcore. Headquarters, I think, in Modern Warfare 3, and got all my golden shotguns. That was so much fun. Running around with shotguns in hardcore, so much fun. <laughs> like, that game, honestly, was just... I don't know, like, it was just fun. Overall, you could find fun in just about every game mode. Somewhat. Except for, uh... I don't know why I like that. I don't know why I could say I like that game more than not. I don't know what it was about that game. Maybe it was because we had, we had a good social aspect around it. Yeah. Too, because I feel like we did have a better social aspect on that game than we did like Black Ops and um, Modern Warfare Two. I think we had a good social aspect too. I'd say I felt like because we played uh-huh. Search in that game too. That was that was when it started for us. Like yeah, playing Call of Duty. Like you like... could say it started late World at War and zombies, and then Modern Warfare Two came yeah. out, and that's when like it it started started, and then it kind of built from there. And then Black Ops 2 just killed it. I think it was also like, that, like, you got a job and... Yeah, that's true. You didn't, I got didn't a have job. time. Mm-hmm. So we couldn't play It wasn't, like, that everyday thing, kind of. Yeah. Or every other day kind of thing, which was sad. But now it's still, like, now it's, like, you get, you got the job and you... We've, we've kind of, like, we've progressed, right? You and me have computers yeah. now. Corey's going to computer, and before you know it, we're going to be playing Battlefield together, games like Rise and Storm, big multiplayer games that are a lot of fun, especially with people, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. if you think about it, we've really progressed in the aspect of that. Mm-hmm. Like, Call of Duty was a good foundation to get into all of it. Yeah. Good times. Oh, man. Nothing quite, like, reminiscent the good old days. Mhm. I like to when we when you talk about that, you think about how far it's come, you know. Yeah. Like whether it's just like the games or whatnot, everything's kind of come so far in a way, which is crazy. Yeah. Trying to th- what was um looking at the games. Um, I can't wait for um Grand Theft Auto to come out on the PC. That's supposed yeah. to happen this spring, I think. Really. Was the last rumor, I I heard. I I looked it up last time. I thought about it, and it was like saying this spring. Yeah, hopefully. The spring to summer, they're gonna do it. Yeah. So. That's what they say. Mhm. Oh well, I mean, it was fun on the console. Ow. Did you ever beat what it? Was. Not on the console. GTA. No, I did not. <laughs> You did it probably. Yeah, I didn't. I be. I didn't. For, I played like, it for like a solid. I played it for like a solid month after it came out, and then I just I stopped. Yeah. So. I mean, it was okay. Yeah. Like it, it looked good at first, and then you like took a step back. Or you looked at something closely, and it just like jagged I think, lines and. Yeah, like it doesn't. It pushed the performance. Yeah. Of the consoles. So it kind of made it, for me, I felt like it was sluggish. The driving kind of felt messed up when it, to me. 
Uh huh. It's just like you know, what I mean, that's why I think when it comes to next gen experience in PC, it'll be a lot better. With visual, the visuals will be smoother, and so will the controls. Yeah. Overall, the game was great. You know. Yeah. They the did the best they could do. with what they had. Yeah. But... Yeah. What do you think if they just maybe would have waited another year and did it all next gen? But, but they, they already waited they a were... year. Yeah, they've already been wait. They've already been working on it for so long. Waiting any longer to just try to port it over would just get this copy out there and start working on the next one. Uh huh. Well, I think it was supposed to come out in like April, and mm-hmm. they uh, and I think they they uh, like mid March they finally said, "Oh yeah, we're gonna delay it." After they like. Nothing came out. There were no commercials for it or anything. And I'm like, hey, this game's coming out in like a month, supposedly, and they haven't had anything for it. There's no way this is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. And they, like Far they Cry. announced it, so I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Like yeah. with Far Cry, when they, when they delayed that from September to December to work out the bugs and stuff in it. Yeah. They're having a new Far Cry Four. Are they? That's gonna happen. Yeah, I forget. It was on Inside Gaming a while ago, I think. But then, like, yeah, they're going to have another Far Cry 4 eventually. Um, what other game were they going to have another one for that was big? Um, I th- They're definitely going to have more Assassin's Creed games. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Bad Company 3 is a thing. That's going to happen eventually. Because I heard r- rumor was have it that what, what EA is trying to do in terms of Battlefield and that side of their enterprise... They're trying to do Battlefield a year, Bad Company a year, Battlefield a year, kind of. Oh, okay. Or something like yeah. that. Or maybe or maybe they entwine Battlefront in there. You know what they should do? Here's a good idea. So you had Battlefield this year, right? Next yeah. year, Battlefront. Then the next year, <laughs> Bad Company. And then the next year, Battlefield. That gives you a two-year window to develop a better Battlefield game. Yeah. Like, in all reality, why was Battlefield 3 so good? It had bugs and stuff in it. They fixed a, a decent amount of it, but the thing that made it enough. great was that there was such a time from Battlefield 2 to Battlefield 3 that there's no way that game could be bad. Uh-huh. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you wait that long to make such a substantial jump in the in the um in the system, like, you can't you can't, you can't mess it up. Uh-huh. Like, even if the yeah. game sucks, people are still gonna love it and say it's amazing. Like, it's just like uh-huh. a gap thing. No, um, like, yeah. kind of like Far Cry Three. Far Cry Three had a big advantage. Like, Far Cry Two was such a letdown that they really couldn't do much worse than Far Cry Three. That's why that's one of the reasons why it was Far such Cry a good game. Two. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Um. Oh, what uh, fuck. Um, there was what, what was the game I was gonna say that's supposed to, uh, Watch Dogs. That game got shoved under the bus because it got delayed six months. There. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Remember that game, Watch Dogs? Yeah. It was supposed to come out like last, like right in like in November or something, and it's not coming out till summer now. I thought. Oh wait, never mind. Watch Dogs. Yeah, I I always. Confuse sleeping watch dogs. dogs with sleeping dogs. Yep, I because usually I call it sleeping dogs, and you correct me and say watch dogs. Yeah, I was like, but, I was like, wait, watch dog or I was like, watch dogs has already been released, and I was like, oh wait, that's sleeping dogs. Mm-hmm. A bit Asian. So video games. I have that game. I haven't played it yet. Um, they have that game, Titanfall. Yeah. Titanfall is supposed to be really, 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 really good. Yeah. But then if EA doesn't have their servers right, they're going to ruin another good game. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then, uh... That's... Uh, apparently it's, like, it's claiming to be the COD killer, which, I mean, it isn't that oh, hard, yeah, Titanfall. actually. Yeah, COD's cause... already dead. Yeah, COD's, COD's been off. dead. It's, yeah, it's COD slipping is... off its thorn throne. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I remember I was talking to someone on Xbox one time. And they're telling me about how, like, when the 360 was first released, mm-hmm. it was all about Halo 2, or Xbox. Like, right before the 360 was released on the Xbox, uh-huh. like, original, Halo 2 was, like, the Call of Duty, and it was, like, mm-hmm. 
what could knock off Halo 2, and then COD 4 came out, and bam. Yeah, COD knocked off Halo. Halo was always in the throne on Xbox, and then COD came along, knocked yeah. it off its stool. Um, and, yeah, PlayStation just Battle- never really had a online Oh no. Following. And then, like, if you think about it, you could say Battlefield. Battlefield's not the COD killer because Battlefield, the true Battlefield game, is more PC-oriented, yeah. whereas Halo and Call of Duty are console-oriented. Yeah. You know, that's kind of where mm-hmm. Bad Company gave Call of Duty a run for its money. Because Bad, yeah. Bad Company was console oriented, but true Battlefield experience and everything is always going to lie on the PC. Yeah. So you just you think about that and look at it like that way, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I don't I mean, think I don't really see if Titanfall being the COD killer. I mean, it's just like it's too far. It's like too far out there. Like you know. I feel saying? like it's kind of more of a, a Halo killer. Well. Think of know. it like that. Like, like, not like a Halo killer, but it's more of a Halo-type game. Yeah, the well, sci-fi future. No, because, well, yeah, but Halo, like, I Halo mean, 1 and 2, they weren't really future games. Like, they uh, had, like, they had vehicles that you can drive and guns that you shoot. Uh-huh. And that was, it was basically just, a, it could be a normal game reskinned. There's nothing too far out there about it, like... None of the the weapons did crazy things, and uh, like like you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Like nothing way far out there. But Titanfall, they have like mechs that you you get in, and then you have to like there's a jetpack that you have to control, and you can jump off walls, and and it has all these features that. Yeah, it's just too I much. Know, I don't. It, it, yeah, I mean it's it, too it probably much. is really fun, but it's, but it's too much it's for too much. the average console gamer that yeah it's just too much yeah. stuff in a game like yeah i feel like i don't want to hate on battlefield here but i feel like in battlefield 4 kind of they didn't they didn't do too much but they did a lot you know yeah it's all cool but when you do a lot at once it messes with the game mechanics uh-huh. and yeah the cause... game doesn't feel as smooth as it should yeah because like uh halo all it had was Hand to hand, or it had uh, shooting, melee, mm-hmm. and uh, vehicles. That's all it had. Three basic things. Call of Duty, all it has is shooting and melee. Two basic uh-huh. things. Like, but Battlefield has like. It has like uh, it has shooting, kind of knifing. Land and air. Melee. It has land yeah. vehicles. It has air vehicles. It has air to air vehicles. I mean, the ground people, land they have land. to worry about shooting people, uh, land vehicles, uh, air vehicles that are shooting them, and uh-huh. also, like, other people and stuff like that. I mean... Don't forget about, like, you could say boats, land, yeah, boats. land to sea, Bam, sea boats. to sea, sea to air, like... Yeah. It's just, you know, it has got, all these everything. features that, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's not bad. But it's too but complex. Yeah, you draw the To be, like, the, the every say, person's game. Yeah, like, like yeah. I guess I just thought about like every this. You think game. about you put all those all those different battles, all that stuff onto one map. That's a that's too much going on. Like yeah, when you have air to air, air to land, air to sea, sea to sea, sea to land, land to land, all on one map. That's that's too much. Yeah, like the objective gets completely ignored when you have uh-huh. all that other interaction. Yeah, like Halo, it had like, sure, it had air to ground stuff, but it was a banshee, and once someone got in the banshee, it was like, oh, this guy's in a banshee, everyone kill him. It wasn't like, there are so many other things to worry about that you didn't have time to, like, do that. Because, I mean, like, and also, there, there were, like, actual means for the people on foot to deal with the vehicles, like... In Battlefield, the only way you can deal with it is to take a rocket launcher and shoot it. But in Halo, mm-hmm. you don't need a rocket launcher. You can walk up to it and hijack it or blow it up. So uh-huh. I mean, like there's there's ways to deal with it that isn't like complex that you need teamwork for. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like I, see I what mean, you're saying. I think I think we're like the every person's game where it, it falls 
is if you need teamwork to like win. Because like in Call yeah. of Duty, you Even can Call win. Even teamwork is so key. Like, I mean, it's not like not not, not so key, not so key. I shouldn't have said so, yeah. but it, it can be key. Yeah. Like like a lone person can carry the team and win mm-hmm. in Call of Duty and Halo, but mm-hmm. in like Battlefield, one person no way. like no no. One like, person that's, doing that's, well doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's why I can't even really play Call of Battlefield yeah. by myself. Because yeah. I can't carry. And uh-huh. it's you just don't no get fun. that you don't get that immediate like satisfaction of like carrying, uh-huh. you know? Mm-hmm. Like Versus, I think about when you like, think of Yeah. Go ahead. I I was just I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Go ahead. As soon as you said that, I thought I'm thinking Call of Duty, and it's like key teamwork is key. Like when you think of picture Mountain Warfare Three, Search and Destroy, us playing. Yeah. Um. So teamwork is key here. We have a six-three four-man team. We're playing on a map where you can clearly rush a bomb. So we all rush one bomb, right on offense. Yeah. Get the bomb planted. There's your teamwork for key, right? Uh-huh. Uh Okay. That's scenario A. Scenario B. Same thing happens except. Everyone gets wiped out on that bomb rush except one person. The one person lone wolf it to clutch and win the round. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Call of Duty can work both ways, I guess. That's yeah. how I thought about it. And then also, uh, like, games where teamwork is, like, completely vital, they just don't work on console that much. Like, like Call of Duty, you don't need to be talking to your team and, like, coordinating with them. You sort of like no. you know where you're supposed to be, like in search. Nobody can be talking, but you can all be like in different spots defending the different bombs. And, yeah, like, like you still know what's going on. Yeah, it just helps when you're talking and communicating. Yeah, but like it's such a more advantage. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think like in order for a game to be like a COD killer, it has to be a game where you, you can don't, have a lone wolf you, thing. You can you can be a lone wolf. You get that instant satisfaction of like. Mm-hmm. You know you're contributing something, and you have a uh, and you you uh what was I gonna say? What was one? Two, one was instant satisfaction. Another one was mm-hmm. you don't need to be talking to each other. And three is like like uh it it, I don't, it just can't have too many things. Yeah, it has to be like actually FPS based, person yeah. versus person. Hmm. Or something. Um, it's it's hard to explain, but yeah, y- you get me. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, because that's be the thing simple, about Call of Duty. It's but fun. extremely simple, and the downfall of Call of Duty in the past, I'll say, one to two years, has been it's not simple anymore. Yeah, there's too much involved. You know, there's too much stuff you got to worry about or do. Too much kill streaks. Too much weapon things. There's too much streaks, yeah. stuff that they're trying to do. It's not simple. And everyone says that about Call of Duty 2, this is weird. They say, this game is too complex. We need this to be more simple. And, I don't know, that's just it. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, yeah. It's just, it's hard to get that balance between simplicity, fun, and features. Yeah, especially after you, like, lose it. You know what I mean? Once you've had it and then you get away from it, it's hard to get it back. Like, Like, you, Call of Duty... It had, like, Call of Duty 4, it had simplicity, but it, it had fun, and it still had enough features to, like, go, mm-hmm. but then they just tried to add more features, and it They added too much at once. And then they added more features, and it was, you know, it was, it was getting there. Mm-hmm. And then they added way more features, and then it sort of got to the other side of the hill where it's too much, mm-hmm. and you can't climb back up. Really? Yep. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to climb back up. Yeah, because you're afraid that you're going to get rid of something that you shouldn't or this or that. Yeah. Like, so. they they lost the simplicity, and with that goes the fun a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is true. So, uh, I think mm-hmm. Call of Duty will never be what it once was. Um, yeah. Because they're still trying to do too much to it. They're not trying to cut back in any way. Yeah. Also, um, I feel like if they did try to cut back, I don't think the community would, would be too f- too fond of that. Like, yeah. Another thing, if you think about it, think about like the old Call of Duty community—people from COD Four, World at War, Modern Warfare Two. 
even even up till Modern Warfare three, um, I would say they're not there anymore. The Call yeah. of Duty community slowly was dying in Modern Warfare three to Black Ops two to Ghosts, and it's kind of dead. Yeah. Um, most of the people that were there have gone to other places to do other things. People that were there and slower there are doing different things there. They're not. It's nothing's about the gameplay or the game really anymore. Um, it's just a backdrop, a backdrop uh, that still everyone can relate to. Yeah, well, that's how I look just, at it. Just a video in the background. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh well. So I feel like that's a great note to end on, Mike. Yeah. What would I mean, you say? Good times, Call of Duty. Yep. Think about it. You think honestly, if I were to say there's a franchise in gaming that's 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 definitely one of the best, if not the best, franchises. It's Call of Duty because it tells a story, kind of, of yep. like you could say even like a rise and fall of a franchise. Mm-hmm. Because it's an example yeah. of where you can see what happens when you do too much or you don't do enough, or what happens when the support's not there, or when you make a stupid mistake or do something stupid that you shouldn't have done. And you, it shows you what happens. Uh huh. Mm, yeah. It's so. Just... You can work as an example. Yeah. I mean, I think, I really think that the the top spot is open. It just it just needs to be filled by someone. Oh, yeah. The, like, new Call game. of Duty is definitely not on the throne right now. It's I mean, definitely. It's there. It's, it's there. It's still on the throne, but it's, it could, you could just tap it off. But mm-hmm. You just need someone to tap it off. You just got to find the right game or the right thing yeah. to tap it. You need to, you need to get bounced. Hey. You know what's coming out soon? What? Battlefront. That is that you never that know. game has you never know. I'm not going I don't want to ruin it, but it has potential and we said that yeah. from day 1 when we heard rumors about there being something like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's the only thing I can really think of. Mhm. I mean, if it does it right. It's weird too. It could yeah, be that top you think spot. about that game anyway. Everyone everyone kind of has played that game at some point, you know? Yeah. And everyone loved it at one point. Uh, yeah. They just can't try to do too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have to get the balance. Mm-hmm. They get that balance, bam, top spot. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're Peace, good to peace. go. It's, it's all about, it's, it's honestly all about the balance in, in games. You need features, simplicity, and fun. That's mm-hmm. all you need. There you go. That's all you need to make a good game. Have those things just, and you got yourself a yeah. good game and you're going to make millions, take over the top spot. And everything. It's done. You can be the cod killer. Born you can call yourself the in, cod killer. Born and raised in Compton, the cod killer. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Alright, well, um I think we'll call it a wrap, bud. That was that was solid. That was yeah. reminiscing, reflecting. We d- described to the world what it takes to make a good game and I wonder if anyone will listen to the advice. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, so I have no experience in the game industry, but I mean, that's just coming from what I've observed. Yeah, it's a past. playing experience, and it's like you could think what the general player could look for, or yeah. should look for. Right. There you well, have it. See you all on the next episode. All right, thanks for listening, everybody. Episode number twenty-two, the Stalker 20, Effect. So our I thought it was twenty-three. Oh no, twenty-two. I it was mind. twenty-two. 22. The, so yeah, you're messing me two, up. Big 2-2. Two, two. Big 2-2, two, two, everybody. There you go. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening, everybody. Mike, any last words to say? Hey, you know what? You know what 2-2 two, two is? It's 11 times 2. What's 2-2? Two, two? Two. Oh. Oh, dropping those <laughs> maths. <laughs> All right, All right, guys. I'll t- we'll talk to you later. See ya.